What is going on, guys and gals? It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back in the garage and back with some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. All right, well, the Jeep DLC is here. It came out last Friday. Uh, it is now available in Steam for $5.99 US. For that, you're going to get three new vehicles, two new motors, and one new track in the game. The track is an off-road track. And, of course, the vehicles you're getting are the Wrangler, the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and then this guy, the Willy, which comes in two different variations. It comes in a civilian model, and then it also comes in a military model. So, technically, there's four new vehicles in there, but we'll say three with one variation on there. Uh, but in all in all, for $6, it's a fairly good value. Now, the two motors you get, you get a Hemi for the Jeep Grand Cherokee. And then for the Willy, you get the uh, Flathead i4, which is really a sharp little motor, even though it doesn't produce a whole lot of horsepower. But it is a cool little motor to build. And uh, that's what we're going to be working on today. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, as always, smack that like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Share the video with your friends. And if you really enjoy it and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. So this is the civilian model of the Willy. Now, it's got a trunk on the back of it or a tailgate here. Got a bench in the back, a couple of seats here. And that's pretty much it. No top on it or anything else like that. Just pretty little standard little truck, right? Now, what makes it different than the military variant? Well, over here on the rack, we have the military variant. The military variant comes with a top on it. Also has a, a jerry can on the back. There is no tailgate back here to remove. Spare tire in the back. Got some tools here. You've got a uh, shovel and an axe on the side here. And uh, really, that's about it. Um, not a whole lot of a difference uh, between this one and this one. As a matter of fact, let's move this one up into the second level so that we've got them sort of side by side. Now, what's cool about the Willy is we finally have a proper old school suspension here on the, uh, the front. Got a leaf spring suspension here. This particular vehicle, well, it does actually have drum brakes on the front which is kind of cool right because that's something that we haven't had uh, on any of our vehicles that was something that was missing when we built the bronco out right so now that is actually in there so hopefully some of the guys who are doing mods can uh you know incorporate that into their builds now on this military variant i've already built out the undercarriage on it i actually recorded that for a video and then it all went haywire and i lost it so we're just moving forward from there, uh, which some of you are going to be happy because you don't like to see me build suspensions. So we're going to move straight over to the engine, which I do have over here. Uh, this guy I bought at auction. It is a four star, the civilian model. I bought it at auction. I paid uh, 17000 for it. Uh, and currently it was worth eighteen six. So we're actually ahead on this one. This one, though, uh, when I bought this one out, it was worth 7900 and I think I'm right at that when I bought it. It was somewhere around 7800 7900 when I was bidding on it, but i got to be honest with you. I lost vision as to where I was at on the bidding because I really didn't care I was buying it uh, to do a video on it. But uh, I stripped it all the way down to the frame took out everything i fixed the frame put the suspension on it it is ready to roll we just got to put some power to it so today we are going to be building the i4 which is a flathead four cylinder i hope you picked up it was a four cylinder from the fact that i said it was an i4 but anyways yeah that's what we're going to be building out today something a little bit different now uh, last Friday, when the when the uh, Jeep DLC launched, we actually did a quite lengthy um, tear into it, or we did a live stream over on Twitch and did a quite lengthy uh, live stream on it. It was something like six, six and a half hours. We actually went through uh, the Willy. We did the civilian Willy. We did the uh, Jeep Wrangler. 
And then after uh, what seemed like an hour of going to the auction house to get one, we finally got hold of the uh, the Grand Cherokee and we built it out with the Hemi in it. So it was kind of nice. It was a lot of fun. Uh, during that time, one of the devs from Red Dot stepped into um, the stream and uh, was in chat, shared with us a little bit of information about the game, answered a couple of questions that folks had. Uh, I was really wrapped up in playing the game, didn't really participate too much in the comments, but uh, one of the things that we learned f straight from the devs this time is uh, about the console release for the game. And I, it's probably one of the questions I get asked the most. When is this game coming out on console? Is it available for console and when is it coming out? Um, first information we had was that it was going to come out uh, towards the end of the year, um, you know, maybe around Christmas time ish. So that's what I've been telling everybody. Uh, then over the weekend, I actually read that some people were saying, well, they had learned that it was going to be first quarter of next year. So that was the new answer I was going with until the devs stepped in and said, no, it's going to be something more like quarter two, which I know that's news that a lot of you guys aren't going to want to hear. But unfortunately, that's the way it is. And um, so if you're a console guy and you've been waiting on this game for release, uh, you're going to have to be a little bit more patient and wait for it to come out. Um, but you are going to get it. It's just going to be a little bit of time. So you're going to have to wait for a few more bugs to be worked out and all that good stuff, which I think you'll be happy for the wait. The game's awesome, but the bugs in it make it kind of frustrated. And, um, you know, let the PC guys suffer through all of the, uh, the pain and then let you, um, come along. Oh, they fixed that. Nice. Let you, let you reap the rewards of the PC people, you know, debugging the game for you. So just a little bit more patient. You can go play Madden while you're waiting on, uh, waiting on car mechanic to come out. Look at this. Check it out. They actually modeled the fuel pump. This time on one of the engines, you actually can take that out. Oh, it's so cool. All right, then we got the camshaft coming out. I like those little things. They, they need more of those little things to be modded into the game so that you can enjoy that. It's the little moments. So anyways, that was revealed to us. Uh, one other thing that, that was revealed in the live stream that was... Uh, a cause for question for me and I'm sure a lot of you may also be wondering is why the top on the rin uh, on the um, the Wrangler isn't removable which if we go over here and look at the military variant this is on here for a reason I can't remove it he can't take the top off of it which kind of seems silly to me you ought to be able to take the top off of it replace the top you know that should be a part that is available for repair but it's not and we were curious i was curious about that because the wrangler isn't removable either which if you've ever owned a renegade or a wrangler or any sort of those you know jeeps like that model you know that uh, that's one of the things everybody likes to do take the hard top of it and put a bimini top on it and go and um you can't do this with this particular model. So the dev answered that question uh, in chat and just basically said the reason they didn't do it was there was no placeholder for the top. Meaning, you know, when you go into the ware warehouse to buy things, you've got hood, bumper, uh, door, you know, left front door, right front door, left rear door, right rear door, all that stuff. They've got placeholders for those parts. And there are no parts in the shop associated with the top or the roof. So that's the reason they didn't do it. So that's the official answer on why there is a... The, why the top can't be taken off of the Wrangler. Dramatic pause. So, yeah, 
Um, all right. I don't agree with that. <sighs> you know, make a placement. That's probably really hard to make a placement so you can do it. So do like the modders do. Instead of calling it top, call it left rear door. Because there's no left rear door on this Jeep. That would have been just fine. I would have been happy with that. Now, I'm sure some people in the Steam forums would have been like, you morons, you called the top a left rear door. It's not a left rear door. You're right. And I know that. And I know it would happen if they had done it. But to me, that was far better than just looking at this and going, ah, you can't take this top off. Look how stupid it looks right now. Cause you've got the, I've got the windshield off of it, right? Look how dumb that looks. It looks like some old buggy car from like the 1900s, you know, one of the old steam ones. I mean, it just looks wrong sitting like this without the windshield in it. And a simple solution would have been to model this as a separate item and just call it left rear door. And for all the haters that would be like, oh, that's so dumb. You didn't make a spot for it. Blah, 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 blah. I would have loved that more than not being able to take it off. Because I got to give you an F on that one. That's just ridiculous. And, you know, and if not the Wrangler, the military variant, it should have been coming off. It just looks, it looks stupid the way it is right now. You know, somebody's going to disagree with me and tell me I'm wrong, but it really looks dumb like that. All right, let's get back to the building. Air filter. Of course, we got to replace that. Duh. Uh, we got an uh, air filter base is good. We need the air filter cover. Um, okay, we got to get that. Uh, the arm A, I6B. This thing's a hodgepodge of parts, by the way. It's, you know, which is pretty typical for a Jeep. If you've ever owned one, you know it's got like parts off a of Dodge, parts off a of Ford, parts off a of Chevy. It's like... AMC went to whoever they could get parts from back in the day and they just grabbed them and said, okay, we can build a car out of that. So the arms off an I-6, we got to get those. We got to have a cam gear off of an I-6B, but a camshaft is from the I-4C, but you know, we don't have to worry about that. It's good. Carburetor's good. Clips are good. Camshaft is good or crankshaft is good. The crankshaft bearings are good. Crankshaft pulley comes off of a V8. Uh, the engine block is good. The head is good. Exhaust manifold is good. We need a fuel filter. Uh, fuel pump we've already replaced. Uh, but we have two fuel pumps on this too. That's, that's another thing. So they used the stock fuel tank on this. Which means they had to put the stock fuel pump on it. But they modeled in a fuel pump you know, a proper fuel pump and put it into the game, which, okay. We're never going to run out of fuel pressure. Uh, engine coal B, that is good. Ignition coal, I mean, distributor. And I was talking in this stream also uh, to Fully Sick, who apparently oversees, from what I get, he oversees the whole mod community. Uh, and he was saying that this is something they're going to address with Red Dot. The fact that you can't repair the distributor. You should be able to repair this. These, no. This, yes. No. Yes. I mean, this is like ignition wires. You've ever done, you know, change your spark plugs and everything. What do you do? When your wires go bad, you replace the coal, uh, the cap, the button, the ignition wires, and the plugs. When you need it. Now, you don't always do it, but... When you start getting a skip, a little miss here and there, it's usually a good idea to replace your wires. And while you're at it, replace the cap and the button. And um, But ignition distributors, you usually can rebuild. So uh, hopefully they'll get that situated so that we can rebuild the distributor. 
Um, anyways, so that was a bit of information that came out of the live stream as well. Uh, intake manifold is good. We have to get an oil filter. The oil filter base is good. Oil pan is good. We need four rings, four pistons. Um, we're good with the fan. Uh, we're good with the rod caps. We need serpentine belt for an I6B and a serpentine belt B for an I6B. Smart plugs, of course, starter, timing chain for an I6B we need. Uh, but we got an I4C timing chain cover. I don't understand how they label some of their stuff. It really blows my mind. I, really, I can't wrap my head around it. But anyways, uh, water pump is good. And of course, we always have to replace the water pump pulley. So <laughs> let's go to the store. And do some shopping. Hopefully, I can remember what was bad. I'm gonna go once over again. Uh, cover both arms, cam for an I6B, and then the V8 pulley, fuel filter, distributor, wires for an I4C. All right, I should be able to get this. Let's go. So much to talk about, and yet, you know, I need to talk about the build. Anyways, let's get into the store if it ever loads up. Come on. There we go. There we go. Parts, engine, air filter, we need. Good stuff. Air filter cover, we need. Going off of that. Uh, we come over. That is good. We need this arm here. And then we need another arm. It's this arm here that we need. Uh, cam gear. Holy smokes, I forgot what cam gear I need. No, I'm just kidding. I6B. All right. Cam chef, we're good on. We don't need any of that stuff. We don't need a carburetor. No clips. No crankshaft. No crankshaft bearings. But we do need the pulley, so we'll grab that. Uh, coming down through the heads, we're good. There's no cover on a flat head, so we're all right there. Exhaust manifold, we stated we were good on. Uh, so we're going to come down to fuel filter. We'll need that. I think we were good on the fuel pump. I could be wrong. I could be having to come back and get that. Because uh, I kind of sidetracked myself there. Uh, let's see. Distributor, we need that. Wires, we need. What else? Oil filter. Definitely need that. All that was good. The oil pan was good. So we need four rings here. Boom. And we need four pistons. So we found out also this uh, piston with con uh, Conrod for V8 overhead valve C. That's going to be for the new Hemi that is in the uh, in the Jeep Grand Cherokee, which we'll do a build on coming up very soon. Trust me, all the Jeeps are going to get built. I have no desire not to build them. All right, I6B, that is Serpentine Built A. I need Serpentine Built B for the I6B, which should be that one right there. By the way, if you want to go back and watch the uh, live stream from last Friday, it is available. Just go over to twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Moose Gaming uh, and then go to the videos section. That's where all the archive live streams are. And you can just go in there and watch them from there. All right. We need that timing chain. By the way, these timing shoes, these are going to be for the new Hemi also in the Jeep. Uh, let's see the timing chain cover I think was good uh, So all we really need is the um, is the pump pulley Gosh, I hope that was all the parts I think that should be good All right, so we put our engine block back in nice little military green block We'll go ahead and put our bearing caps on tighten those babies up Yeah, we'll come around to this side. Go ahead and slide in those pistons. And we'll lace this engine up real quick. This one won't take that long to build up. Not very many parts to it being a flathead.
But that also means there ain't a terrible whole lot of horsepower in this motor. Um, <laughs> we found it interesting when we took it to the off-road track. Um, it didn't have enough power hardly to climb a hill. It's uh, they don't they don't do a whole lot. You if you want to get up something, you got to give it a good run and start. All right, go ahead and put the camshaft in. Uh, we'll put the cam gear on it. Break that down. Put a little timing chain on there. And then we're going to rotate the engine and finish up. All right. Rotate said engine one time that way. Nice. Going back in. Go ahead and put everything back on now. Got to put the engine hat on. Boy, they didn't skimp on the bolts on the top of this engine head, did they? They got them all. i not meaning really to hit all of those at once. It's just kind of happening. <laughs> just kind of is happening. All right, let's go ahead and put the ignition coal in on this side. Put our distributor in. Distributor cap goes in. Our button, then the cap. And then we'll zoom in. We'll get these clips out of the way before we get plugs and wires in. Nice, that is done. I do really still wish this this wire was modeled in, and that they didn't skimp on that. All right, so spark plug is next. Another plug. Just not much with this one. So we go ahead and put the fuel filter on. And we'll put our wires on. And that's good. Then we put the oil base in. Filter. And cap. Squirt that down there. Then we can come put the air filter base. So when the when the DLC originally came out, the, the assembly process for this air filter was a little messed up. You actually took the base off and then the filter and then the, the top piece. Uh, so in one of the patches that we just got, they fixed that and reversed the order on there, which is much nicer. You either had to rotate the, uh, to get the air filter out, you either had to rotate the motor to get down to it, or you had to reach through here and pop it out that way. So glad they took the time to fix that. Water pump. And then alternator. Water pump pulley. There we go. All right, timing chain covers going on. That'll give us a pulley on the front here to put on. There we go. Serpentine belt. All right, come over here. Let's put this arm on here so that we can mount Whatever last piece is on, I think it's power steering. Yep, power steering goes in. While we're over here, we'll put the fuel pump on. All right, our exhaust manifold goes in. And our intake manifold on top of that. And the carburetor on top. Air cover. And that is that. Serpentine belt on the front. And a fan. And we should be done with this motor. So a couple of things about the i4 motor. I, overall, I like the build on it. I, I still wish they would have, since there's so little to this motor... They should have modeled in the, the, like they put the thermostat here. Go ahead and model that in and go ahead and model the bolts for it. Let me take the thermostat off. Give us a thermostat to put in there. You know, little details like that really. I mean, they did great by putting the fuel pump on. Take that extra step and put the thermostat on there. 
uh, for it. Would have been nice. And then, of course, you know, the wire from the distributor, I mean, to the ignition coil back to the, um, back to the rotary, or to the distributor cap. That would be nice as well. All right. Let's grab this guy. Move him over. So we drop the engine back in. Boom. Nice. Put that out of the way. There we go. Got a little engine inside of it. A little engine that could. Because later on when we take it to the outdoor track, it's going to be going, I think I can. I think I can. I think I might not be able to. All right. Gearbox. What do we got here? I got a gearbox. I got a transfer case. Both drive shafts. Of course, I can't do anything about the, cr the pressure plate and the flywood. I think hopefully that's on their list of parts they're going to discuss. Uh, what I was understanding, there's a whole list of parts that they want to talk to them about, about being able to repair. Um, you know, clutch pressure plate would be one of them. Flywheel would be one of those. Uh, turning rotors, turning uh, brake drums, those would be hopefully on that list. Just make it a little bit more realistic. All right, so we're going to get the pressure plate, throw out bearing and flywheel. We should be able to go ahead and button this baby up. And then we'll have to just do the exhaust and move on. All right, clutch plate. So like I said, I started this build out with the intentions of doing a build just like I do everything else. Strip it down, put a new suspension on there, and then do the engine. But I started recording the video, and uh, I got it all recorded. And then when I went back to edit it and make a, a video out of it, something had happened to where the audio recorded. But as far as the video... The video just recorded one frame uh, and it was the car mechanic simulator logo and it recorded it and <laughs> and that was it it recorded it for the 35 minutes of the video that i recorded so uh that's the reason why there there's no suspension build on this eventually i'll come back and build the suspension and we'll go from there so but i just want to let y'all know why and again i know that some people are happy that I'm not building the suspension. I mean, I got a, a note earlier this week that told me, please fast forward, you're boring. Okay, there's other people to watch too. Uh, front exhaust section, I4C, middle muffler, rear muffler, V8 overhead drive. So uh, really all we got to remember is this front exhaust section, I4C. Let me go into the store here to buy that. So we'll go to exhaust. Front exact section, I4C, we'll buy that. We'll get the middle muffler and this piece here. All right, set those in place. And it'll be body time. Yep, there we go. As you can see, already done the fuel tank and there's another fuel pump in the fuel tank so i know they're they're living within the constraints of the game but come on guys model two fuel tanks i mean all you got to do for a, the for, for a second fuel tank is just take this pre-existing model and take the fuel pump out of it and, and make it solid and then we just put a box back here and then you put the fuel pump that's on the motor Little things like that, just it's little oversights like that that drive me nuts. Because it's like you didn't really put the time into it. It's just like the top here. This was this is just a complete afterthought, you know. Um, good planning would have said eventually we're going to build a car that has a top that should be removable. Maybe we put a placeholder for a top in there. I mean, how many other cars do you build along the way that have? You know, that would be cool DLCs down the line that have both a soft top or a hard top version of it where you could put the top on it, like some of the old Mercedes or, you know, cars like that. I mean, yeah. Because as you'll see, as we start to put the body panels back on this now, you're going to see that it's kind of 
silly. Now, I already did the repair. Basically, I took all the parts off the car and then went over to the workbench and repaired everything. So all of these panels that I'm putting in, they are original panels that came off of the car uh, in the tear apart. So there's your front window there, which really ought to be two pieces, right? I mean, that, that assembly... That assembly is the window frame, which folds down on a, on a military variant, and then the glass that goes inside the, um, the frame. So technically that ought to be two pieces, but they only made it one because there probably wasn't a placeholder for a window, for, you know, front windshield frame. See, I'm getting the gist of it now. I, I know how their mind works. Wow, Moose, we couldn't have done that. We didn't have a placeholder for a window frame. I mean, who would have ever thought we would have needed one? I don't know. The guy who thought you were going to do a Jeep DLC? I mean, how long ago did you decide to do a Jeep DLC that you were creating the game and went, yeah, we don't have a placeholder for a, for a top or a front windshield frame. But we're going to be doing that Jeep TLC some point. All right. So glass. There is a piece of glass that goes right here. Which is funny. Um, and then, well, all this other glass. Pretty much we got everything for the car, though, repaired that we got. This was a two-star, by the way, when I bought it um, in the shop. All right. So... Uh, we will leave the parts place. We'll go to the body spot. And I know there's some people that are going to hate me for mentioning this stuff or be like, all he's doing is bitching. But I mean, let's be honest about it, right? I mean, this is stuff that should have been thought through long ago. They didn't just wake up last week and go, yeah, we're going to do a Jeep DLC. Now that the game's out, what's going to be our first DLC? Oh, why don't we create a Jeep? Ah, oh, brilliant. You know what we forgot to do? What's that? We forgot to make a spot for a uh, for a front window. I'm buying parts for the wrong vehicle now. Oh, I forgot. There's a military vehicle and a civilian vehicle, and each of them has different parts. All right. Well, let's start again here. We'll buy this. I, luckily, I have a civilian that I'm going to have to work on anyway, so... All right, so there's a left headlight, there's a right headlight, there's a left tail light, and right tail light. There's a rear window. I bought the front window. I really think that's it. Um, yeah, that is it. Oop, that goes in there. Oop, that goes in there. And then we'll put our front window in front window see what I mean now that looks good but when I take that out and the entire thing comes in it just looks stupid now if they had to left the window frame there and you just took the glass out of it then maybe it wouldn't look so dumb but see they even hinge that down there I'm just saying Think it through next time. All right, put that in there. All right, and then we need license plates for this thing. Uh, so we got to go back to the store and buy two of those. And we got to get some seats. So the seats for the Willy. You got two of these seats. I bought two of those. Oops, I didn't need that. Uh, and then the wheel is going to be this guy right here. Wait, is that right? Steering wheel for the RX3, steering wheel for the Typhoon. It's one of the wood variants. I got to make sure I get the right one. Yeah, it's this one. This is the one they put in it. Buy that. Right? I did buy the right one. That's I still got the old one. Wait, no, that's the wrong button there, Moose. Press the right button. Uh body. 
Yeah, you got that stuff. How do I still have good stuff in here? Oh, because I bought uh, an extra one. Yeah. And I did put the headlights in. Gotcha. Too bad you can't remove those. Well, I mean, they're part of the fender, but, you know. Uh, all right, let's get the license plate while I'm up here looking at them. Otherwise, I'm just going to forget and get sidetracked, which I'm sure right now you're all thinking about. Go look at the steering wheel. Go look at the steering wheel. I, I got you. Yeah, I will look at the steering wheel, too. <sighs> all right, let's put that on there. Laxo. No, not that one. Oh, man. Mistakes. Mistake again. Pull that one off there. Put that one back on. Put that on there. There we go. Uh, all right, interior pieces, which I really should send this to the body shop before I put the interior pieces in, but you know, what am I going to do? Uh, old steering wheel, new steering wheel. Yeah, I got the right one. <laughs> Left seat, right seat, rear bench. Got an extra one that we can use when we build that guy over there. Excellent. Rear license plate from Illinois, Alabama. All right, so I think we're totally hosed on this. How did I miss a part? What am I missing? I'm going to cheat and look. Oh, the starter. Ah, uh, the bloody and engine oil. And there's two things that we gotta do. The starter needs to go in. See, I'm just I'm I'm when I do things out of order, I don't get it right. I don't normally get it right anyways. I miss some things. I just put in the drive shaft and everything and immediately come up here and uh the oil in. I want to put the oil in. I would have realized. Oh yeah. By the way, you can't put the starter in yet. All right. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Global body condition is ninety-six percent. Interior condition is. I uh, need to clean that. So let's bring the sponges over. Give it a sponge job. All right. Squirt. Squirt. All right, 100% across the board. Good, good, good. You know, we can paint it, but I don't know why. Um, But, you know, because we do paint, we'll take it to paint and we'll look at the liveries uh, for this. There are several liveries you can use when you paint. Um, most of them are all military themed. Uh, so we got glitch or digi digi camo right uh, we got a little land camo which is like you know I don't know that sort of looks like 1950s camo that doesn't really look like World War two era camo I don't think World War two they even had camo Jeeps I think they were just all green um, then there is the land camo with the star on it in case you're hauling the general, uh, but he's only a one star. You don't really have anybody potent. Uh, and then there is the generals with the side numbers on it and everything. It's kind of cool. Uh, then we have another variant that has a more of a gray star on it. Works with a lighter you know, paint job or a darker paint job. Maybe I guess lighter. Uh, let's see. What do we got next? Yeah. A net paint job. That's interesting. Doesn't really float my boat. Then we start getting in the desert camos here. And basically you got desert camo, desert camo with a star. You know where we're headed here. Desert camo, desert camo with a star in black. And the letters down the side. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Here, here we go. And um, then we got desert camo. Oh, that's a okay. There we go. 
Looks like a puzzle piece that fell apart. Anyways, so there are all your variants that you can do with it. And uh, I think, why don't we do something with... I mean, let's make it look military. Let's go with... Uh, let's go that one. And let's do a matte finish on it. Because I don't think it looks really good in full metal on it. And let's go back to an old... Like... You know, World War II Jeep Cranish look. And I think that's sort of. I mean, that suits me right there, right? All right, let's put it on the light and see how it looks out there. And then the fun part we're going to the outdoors track. Yeah, she's ready to go into battle, sir. So. With our one star. <laughs> All right, let's take her to the test track, to see how she runs. So we'll come over here to the door and click on the door properly. And over here, we have the off-road track over by the junkyard. Click on that. We'll select our military willy and we'll head over there and check it out. All right, so let's check her out in all her glory out here in the dirt. Kind of sweet. Super sweet. All right, well. Into combat we go. bombs blasting all around us so we go over the first little jump down with a bunch of logs and then we're gonna come over here and make a turn and ride through all these little berms here and we got another little log thing oh got some air on it oh get a little more air with it good suspension though oh we bottomed out a little bit We go so as you can tell not a ton of power on this thing but i mean what's it got like 80 horsepower <laughs> i don't know all right there we got that a few more logs there got some tires to go over here oh yeah we kind of oh hung it up uh maybe going around there is a better idea we don't have the ground clearance. I'm sure there was a lot of this going on. Dodging obstacles in the ground. And let's go over some more ruts here. What else can we find? Oh man, we got some rocks on a hill over here. We're gonna avoid some of these because let's be honest, some of these would be crushing some oil pans, right? Uh-oh. Come on, baby. I think I can. I think I can. Come on, get that four-wheel drive going. Get up over there. Get up over there. Um, it lacks power. I can't imagine we won the war with a car that week. Or a Jeep that week. I mean, hey, get a little running start on it, it goes. We got a hole here. Yeah, let's avoid that hole. It's like somebody like they did the whole world. Oh no 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 Uh oh. Alright, we're backing out of this hole. Ah yeah. Oh there we go. What else we got here? I'm not gonna try that again. Got some logs here to go over. Logs and rocks in a hole. Looks like there's a hill to get up on top of over there. Let's, let's see if we can get up on top of it. Let's cheat and really go off-road where we're not supposed to be. 
This is how you off-road. You go through the grass. All right? You take a Jeep off the beaten path. Yeah. King of the mountain. Nice little tires there. I don't know. Oh, some more rocks to climb. Cool. Berms. There we go. All right, so we're going to hit this log here and bust the front end. Yeah, not actually a good idea there, Moose. Oh, yeah, we're over it. And we'll get over that. Uh, you got to carry enough momentum so if you do frame out, you can get over it. Got to learn that. That's the first thing I learned was go over it fast enough that you can get the momentum to carry yourself over on a frame, but not fast enough to you know, do any damage to the bottom of the vehicle. And then we have Mount Willy Killer. You can't climb this with a Willy. You just can't do it. I mean, if you get a running start, you can do it, but yeah, we're not getting up that hill. It's just not doing it. Even if you put the brakes on and you give it a little oomph, it ain't going up that hill. But if we get a running start, oh, oh just almost put the brake on. Yeah, it just ain't gonna do it. You gotta have more of a running start than that to get up it. Let's uh, let's get a little bit more of a advantage here. There we are, king of the world, in our little willy jeep. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's build. Oh, we didn't look at how much this thing is worth. Let's go back to the um, garage, and we'll check it out. As I told you guys in the beginning, this thing was worth $7,900 when I first started to build it. Uh, so completed out, it is now worth 29,521 bucks. Not terribly bad. 60 horsepower, that's what it has in it. So, not a ton of power on this beast, but still pretty darn cool. All right, so let me know in the comments if you guys want me to completely build out the civilian model of this. Now, this is a four star, it's not going to need a whole lot of work. Uh, but if you guys want me to, I will build it out and show you how the suspension on this one uh, is different than all the others. So that might be what we do next is uh, build that out. And we could probably, as simple as this motor is, we probably do that in one episode and knock it out pretty quick. Um, so that is a very big possibility. All right. Just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a little note for me. Smack that like button for me and share the video with your friends. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more content like this. All right, that's it for today, guys. I do appreciate you coming out and join us. There'll be more Car Mechanic Simulator videos coming up for you guys. No, I haven't given up on it. Just had to take a little break there. And I'll give you more details on what's going on coming up in future videos. But anyways, have yourself a great day today. Thanks for coming out and watching, everybody. God bless you. Bye-bye.